Many traders believe their broker is out to get them and is hunting their stops. Before drawing our own conclusions, we first need to understand the different types of brokers and how they are set up. There are two main types of brokers, A Book Brokers, and B Book Brokers. The A Book Broker finals the orders straight to the interbank market. The trades are matched with other traders' orders. This type of broker does not care if we make or lose money. The broker gets paid from the charged commissions. The B Book Broker takes the other side of our trades. When we win, he loses. Having many clients all over the world and many of them unprofitable, leaves something to be gained. A broker will typically know if we're likely to be winners or losers by analyzing our trades. The quantitative research statisticians under their employ, to find the traits of a losing client. Applying their models, and analyzing different aspects of our trades, they will qualify any client as being more likely to gain or lose money. If the analysis qualified a client as more likely to lose money, his orders will be put into the B-Book. If the analysis qualified a client as more likely to gain money, his orders will be put into the A-Book. In most cases we are unlikely to know how our broker qualified us and whether our orders are matched in-house, or through the liquidity provider. The fact that most of their clients are losing money makes them profitable. When a client becomes consistently profitable, he may be moved from the B book to the A book. Some brokers are either A book or B book only. Other brokers can be set up so they have both capabilities. The dealing desk brokers also known as market makers, are B book brokers. Their business model relies on them being able to offer a price wrapped around the market price. A fixed spread is usually the mark of a dealing desk broker. Conversely, a floating spread is typically the mark of a straight-through processing broker. In the case of a dealing desk broker, our gains are their losses. Consistently profitable traders could be a threat to those brokers' profitability, hence delayed execution, partial fails, requotes, and many other tricks that may be used to tip the balance in their favor. As long as the broker is regulated and enough unprofitable traders are amongst their clients, Hunting our stops is not something likely to happen. To see more, please subscribe, give us a thumb up and share our clips.